Hey guys, Will here. Today I'm going to show you how to wash your down jackets. So, why would you bother to wash your down jacket? I mean, it only costs like $300 for a new one, right? And it's only one of the most important pieces of gear you carry. And it's kind of the difference between being totally miserable and totally comfortable when the temperature falls overnight. So maybe you should wash your down jacket. Very simply, your down jacket will work better and last longer if you keep it clean. Down jackets, also known as the puffy ones, will lose their puffiness as they collect sweat, dirt, moisture, and campfire smoke especially. And as they lose that puff factor, so too do they lose their ability to keep you warm. Alright, fine. You've convinced me, Will. I'll wash my down jacket. But when do I do it? Well, a good starting point is once a year. This will at least ensure that you're doing it somewhat consistently and will definitely extend the lifetime of your jacket. However, Depending on what you're using it for, whether you're just walking around in town or if you're basically backcountry skiing for more time than you're sleeping, you may want to wash the jacket more frequently than just this baseline. If your jacket's showing any noticeable signs of dirtiness, losing its puff factor in uh, any of the little cells of down, maybe it's got a stain on it, maybe it looks wet or dark, or maybe it has a particular smell about it, it's definitely time to wash it. Personally, I like to wash my jackets twice a year, and I'll typically do this right after their peak uses. And so this one here, the blue one, I usually use it a lot in the winter and in the summer, and not so much in the fall or the spring. So I'll usually wash it right after the end of the winter season, and then right at the end of the summer season. And so when it's sitting around during the fall and spring, it's clean. There are eight things you need when you want to wash your down jacket. First and most obvious is your washer and your dryer. If you have a top load washer, there is some extra instructions for you. As for the dryer, hang drying a down jacket, while it seems like it might protect the garment further, is actually not a very good idea. This stuff, attracts moisture like crazy. And if you hang it up on a clothesline or on a drying rack, it will take anywhere from one to two decades before it at least feels dry. And even then, it's probably not. So the next two things you'll need, you're probably gonna have to go out and get. The first one is a technical down cleaner. So you can't just use regular Tide or regular game on your down jacket. You have to go to Mac or REI or Amazon and get a special detergent that will not damage the insulation in the jacket. Next up is either dryer balls or clean tennis balls. When you put the down jacket in the dryer, you want it to dry evenly so that all of the pockets of down are just as dry as the other ones. And so you can do this either by using dryer balls that you already own or by getting just a couple tennis balls clean ones. Don't go rooting through your garage for the dirty ones you used when you were like five. Next up, real simple, is a clean towel. You'll need this to press the jacket before it goes into the dryer. This will save a lot of time in the dryer. Another item you might have to go out and buy is DWR spray. If you've ever seen close-up pictures of uh, technical gear like maybe a Gore-Tex jacket or a down jacket, Sometimes you'll notice either the water will be in a bead right on the surface, or it will sink in to the surface of the fabric. We call this wetting out. And so once you stick your jacket into the wash, take it out, you'll be able to see if it's wetting out or if it's still resisting water. If it's wetting out, then you're gonna to have to apply DWR spray, which is super simple and definitely worthwhile. This only applies if you have a top loading washing machine with an agitator in the middle. Um, the agitator will probably ruin your jacket, so just get a mesh bag from Mountain Equipment Co-op or REI or wherever that will fit the bag, zip up, and protect it from the agitator. And finally, patience. First time I washed this blue jacket, it took 
just about five hours. I was kind of slow the first time around. The next time I did it, I washed the two of them together and it was six hours. So you might be able to batch jackets together if that is applicable, if you have other jackets to wash. But this is definitely a full day process. You really can't just, you know, leave the house, right? You have to be there. Step one is really is step zero. Read the label first, all right? People love to skip this. Inside your jacket, there will be a label with wash instructions. Make sure you're adhering to this at all time. Same goes for the detergent that you buy. On the bottle, there will be specific instructions for things like wash temperature, how many garments to use with how much detergent, etc. Make sure you're also following those instructions at all times. On this blue jacket here, I've got a stain on the back. Not sure where from, but it's a good idea to check for them. If you have a stain like that, you're going to want to remove it uh, before it goes in the washing machine. So you can use regular soap and a brush or a cloth for this, but you're going to need to rinse it very, very thoroughly afterwards because this won't come out in the washing machine a lot. It's going to need a more thorough scrub, but rinse, rinse, rinse. Prepping the jacket for the wash. So you want to zip up the main zipper, unzip the pockets, Loosen anything else. Say you've got Velcro around the wrist, maybe you've got a draw cord on the hood, loosen that all up. But like I said, with the top loader, stick it in the mesh bag if that's necessary. If you've got a front loader with a little drawer for the detergent, you're gonna to wanna to take this out completely, if possible, and just rinse it out in the sink. That's gonna help get rid of any of the excess detergent. You can go ahead and put it in the washing machine. Obviously, we want a gentle cycle. Uh, you don't have to wash on cold. You can wash on warm or medium, so that's going to be around 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. And definitely extra rinse. Even though you're using a technical detergent, you still want to just be on the safe side. There's probably excess regular detergent in the machine, and even the technical detergent doesn't belong in the down. We want to just leave the down pure, clean, as best as we can. Delicate cycle, low spin speed, uh, regular soil level, wash temperature is cold. That's because that's what it said on my jacket. And then that orange light over there, there that's extra rinse. Step three is the DWR that we talked about earlier. So you can take the jacket out, be very careful with it. It's gonna be really heavy and really compact. And uh, if you just kind of pick it up by one sleeve for some reason, uh, it could stretch or worse tear. So take it out, shake it out, and pay close attention to the fabric itself. Is it wetting out or is the water on the surface beating? Definitely wetting out. Uh, and unfortunately I don't have any of the DWR spray. And so I'm actually not gonna bother this time around. But do as I say and not as I do. <laughs> Uh, basically, if you did have the spray, you would just um, look for where it seems to need it most. If there's places where it doesn't need it, where the water's still beating, then you don't have to bother. Uh, but the areas where it's most likely really going to need it are going to be around the shoulders and around the waist where your pack would sit. That's going to have the most wear on your jacket. So if you need to spray the whole jacket, spray those areas extra. If you just need to spray part of it, then that's probably where you're going to have to spray it. Lastly, step four, dry. Now, depending on the DWR that you've used, you might need to leave it, let it uh, sit for a while. You might be able to just go straight into the drying process. So again, another label to read. Um, step four, dry starts with your towel. So just lay the towel out on a table, lay the jacket right onto the towel, and then roll the towel and jacket up together and just give it a big press. So you're gonna pull a lot of moisture out this way and save a lot of time in the dryer. So prepping for the dryer, you want all zippers closed and everything else loosened. So this is slightly different from putting it in the washing machine where you wanted the pockets open. In the dryer, you want them closed. Inside the dryer, the mesh bag that you may or may not have been using is not necessary. Add your tennis balls or your dryer balls and set the heat and cycle to gentle and low or extra low temperature if that is an option. 
Now, this is the majority of the process, is the drying. The reason it's a little arduous is because you have to keep returning to the dryer. So the first time you put your jacket in, all is well, but 20 minutes later you need to come back and in order to make sure that it dries evenly, you need to turn the jacket inside out. So reach in, pull the sleeves through, pull the other sleeve through, and make sure there's no tennis balls caught inside the sleeves because they seem to do that a lot. And it goes on like this, 20 minutes, you're back, 20 minutes, you're back, inside, outside, inside, outside. Eventually, you'll start to notice the jacket regaining its puff, but you're gonna wanna be very, very particular about any moisture whatsoever. So you'll usually find excess moisture in the armpits. Even if the jacket looks like it's completely dry, just pull it out, give it a thorough pat down, check it over. If you feel anything that feels wet, it's best to just put it right back in, especially if this jacket is about to go into storage, right? If you're just gonna take it out of the dryer right into the closet and it's still wet, that's bad. That's gonna get moldy and nasty fast. And once it's dry, you're done. Your jacket is clean and you are a responsible backcountry user who saves their gear. If you like this video, make sure you check out, I think it's up here, the rest of the playlist on gear care. There's gonna be more videos there soon. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell, bing bing, if you uh, wanna get notified of new videos. Um, basically, washing your down jacket makes it last longer, makes it work better. And why would we not want that? Unless, you know, you're looking for an excuse to buy the new Arcteryx, whatever, so.